From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Welcome, brother Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Enough of the Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh! Hey, what's up, everybody? This is D. I bet you're saying, hey, there's no fish tank in the background. What's D up to? Well, like many of us have run into, I ran into a little equipment failure, which brings me to the topic of this video. A couple of things that you need to think of having a backup before they fail on you. Now, fortunately, mine wasn't a detrimental thing. Uh, it's just one of my little air pumps. I planted tanks died on me. As you know, it's about 90 degrees here in Brooklyn every day right now. We're in the middle of the summer. And one thing that you want to make sure you got is oxygen in your water because when that temperature gets up there in the fish tank, it depletes your water of oxygen. So I'm off to me old local store. So I thought what better time to look at a few things that you ought to have backups of. So let's go on to the store. Well, as I mentioned, the air pump is one of the life's blood of your fish tank. And when it is hot, you definitely need to get oxygen into the tank. That's one of the reasons why ammonia goes up, pH goes up, and you know, fish breathe hard and go through all types of stress. Now, another piece you should have, if you don't already, is a battery operated pump. Because if the power goes out for any reason, blackout or anything, it never hurts to have a pump that runs on batteries. It has saved my tanks many times. But for the time being, I'm going to go with this one. Sorry I don't have the video, but this will have to suffice. Number two, that most people that I know never think about until they actually need it, a power strip. Doesn't necessarily have to be this one. It's just good to have an extra power strip. It's happened to me. Things happen. Water runs down. You get a short. Something goes wrong. Your power strip doesn't work. Guess what? Now you got your lights, your air, your filtration, and you're rumbling around running to Walgreens in the middle of the night looking for a power strip. So it's always good to have a backup power strip. Uh, it never hurts. It doesn't have to be this one, but it never hurts to have an extra power strip. It could save you when you least expect it, man. So let's go down to the next aisle. Let's see. I don't need this one because I have multiple extras at home. <laughs> but these are cool because they have the timer built in. I actually have one like this as a backup at home already. All right, let's see what else. Another thing you never think about needing until you actually need it is a light. What happens to your tank if all of a sudden your light fixture blows out? More than one of us in the last week have just had a light failure. What are you going to do? You got no extra. Doesn't have to be this one, but you definitely can't go wrong by having an extra light fixture, even if it's just a fluorescent, something to get you through until you get your lights working again or to keep your tank illuminated. This is doubly true if you got a salt water tank. LED fixtures are not bulletproof, they do eventually fail, they just last longer than fluorescence, but they do eventually fail. And what are you going to do when it fails? You're going to go to have to order a new one and you're going to have to wait for it to arrive. You're going to have to go through hurdles. And in the meantime, your tank will be dark. So this is number three of the things that never hurts to have a backup light. Definitely need a backup light. Number four, let's not forget how many horror stories we've heard when people's heaters have failed. And don't think this is an Aquion commercial just because you keep seeing Aquion. Definitely, most definitely a vital piece of the aquarium, the heater. Even if you don't have anything else, you need air and heat. You can never go wrong by having an extra heater laying around. Let's say you're in the middle of the winter months and that heater fails, you are at the mercy of your apartment, house, or condo, wherever you live. When that temperature drops, ain't nothing you can do without a heater. So. It never hurts to have a backup heater. I have two backup heaters. Actually, I ended up going to my backup after my last heater actually failed after five years. So I think I'm gonna actually get one. Not this one, because my tank's a lot bigger than that. But I'm gonna get a backup heater. Not least, 
Man, what guy has not set up an aquarium just to come out and find out that things are dead and he's got no idea why they're dead? Now, I'm not saying that you got to specifically have API, but you definitely need to have a test kit, both if you got fresh water, salt water, you find fish dead, you don't know why, it never hurts and you should always have some sort of test kit. So you're not grasping at straws, you can do some research, you can see maybe you got ammonia or something in the water. It never hurts to have a test kit, you should always have one somewhere nearby that you can go to. So this is D, I'm going to keep it short and to the point. I got to get home and get my pump set up. So these are five things that you should definitely have a backup and have them on hand when you're running both a salt or freshwater tank. So until next time, this is D signing out. Tank on, everybody, tank on. This is me. I'm out. See ya.